people of Tungama Daki, a remote community in Abuja, woke to the surprise visit of Peter Gregory Obi, Labour Party's presidential candidate in the last general elections. His visit premised on one made during the World Sea Week on February 15, 2024, when he assessed the only primary healthcare centre which obviously needed an upgrade and staff support. His return is to fulfil the pledge of 2 million naira to make healthcare services available to the community and its environment. Thank you, District Edge. Let me, let me most sincerely thank everybody this morning. Um, like Dr. Moore has said, we came here a few weeks ago as part of our tour during this Muslim fasting period. And when we came, we visited so many places from Sokoto to Kebi to Niger, Suleja, Lafia. We came here and we noticed that the condition of this primary care center requires some repairs here and there, which we estimated that it will cost about two million naira, and that is the only reason why we came today. And then we met your daughter. Where is Aisha? Aisha. 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 Aisha, your daughter. Very hard working person. When I came, it was the only one attending to all the women. So, Aisha. So, Aisha. so basically we are here to present the check to Aisha, but I'm happy that uh, all of you came to receive me, what I will promise is, is this it? and everybody I will come back, I will not come for the village, because maybe there is other things to do in the village, most places we get, went, we gave them ball home. So we're not going for the village. Today we are here for the primary care. So you collect details of this is that maybe there are things we can do for them. Thank you. So where is Aisha? I will present the case. Aisha. Aisha, baby. So with your permission, we we'll present the check to Aisha. Aisha, here. Yeah. Aisha, come here. Sorry, can, we, can you stand in front of me? Okay. This is for Aisha. Aisha. Get in the back. So what we are doing is the check presentation to Aisha. And because I share the very dedicated staff for her own, I'm also giving her a check of 100,000 naira for her own, for her hard work, so that I can continue. And I promise I'll be back in the village. Thank you. Thank you. This is the primary health care. We were here a few weeks ago and we surveyed and found out that there's, it is there's a lot of disrepair like if you look at the roofs look at the systems internally it is all working so we promised that we are going to come repair a few things for them which we estimated at about one point something million so we decided to come and give them a check of two million naira to do it. And the day we came, there was only one nurse looking after over 50 women. And to encourage that nurse, I felt I should give her something. That's why I came, gave them the check of two million and the hundred thousand to the nurse just to encourage her. And like I told the village, I tend to come back again. It's all part of my tour 
of Nigeria visiting the people, knowing and studying and learning what is wrong or what is the need. So the district has said something very germane that no politician, no politician has actually taken time to visit them. How would you be taking this message that he gave to you? It's a message where I have everywhere I went, where I went to provide water in Cape Vicentin, where I went to do so many other places, where we provided water in Faculty of Agriculture in University of Sokoto. The same thing. They don't, nobody in that faculty in particular, not the university, in that faculty in particular, they, it was the first time an individual other than government is giving them something. You know here, we do not plan this politics the way it should be. Politics for us is transactional. So it's only during the election that you see politicians. After the election, there's no more. But public life is something you live with in and out of office. If you choose to do it, even if it's to just go and visit and encourage people, that's enough. This society, this community, look at the crowd, require this type of facility at least two. But even the one they have is not very functional, it's not updated. So you need to do something about it. And that's what we're talking. Today we have infant mortality problem where Nigeria have overtaken India a country that is seven times our population in infant mortality and it's because our primary health care is not working so we need to make it work we need to ensure that people have drinking water we need to show so there's so many things we need to do across the whole nation um finally sir um, most politicians after election hearing they stop but you have continued why have you taken this trip? because that is what being a public being in public life is all about is actually more when there's no election than when there's election the district head of tungamada kimala mohammed so full of excitement conveyed the community's appreciation for peter obi's visit he admitted tungamada is privileged and lucky indeed he further expressed that peter obi is the only politician that has stepped foot into the community let alone share with them his resources for their survival and development. To thank you for visiting us this very morning. We are not the only community in the FCT, but we are privileged. We are lucky to have you. Sir, why I said you cannot go until we appreciate you is because since the community Tungamadaki was here. None of the candidates from even the Senate or House of Rep so ever visit us. But it is a close to us that today you have come to see us and even put in your resources to make sure that uh, our people are living in a good health. I want to say a very good thank you for you. As you come, as you come, I wish you go back safely. Amen. You go back safely. All your good prayers should be answered by the special grace of God. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And God bless you. Thanks for watching.